Let's talk about why Ilya Tapuria could win this fight. You see, I think Ilya Tapuria has the ingredients to counter whatever Alexander Volkanovsky throws at him. I really do. You see, Volk is used to going up against guys that are much taller. When he's able to throw those leg kicks, right? He's not used to having a guy that's very looking at him almost eye level. Even though Ilya is bigger than him, he's still able to look at him a little bit eye level. And he's able to do the one thing that can counter at those leg strikes that you have to be mindful of if you're Alexander Volkanovsky because you're not dealing with Max Holloway. You're not dealing with Yair Rodriguez. If you throw a leg kick and that guy is firing off a one-two or a jab, he's throwing down at you, meaning you can go right under him and initiate the grappling exchange with a guy like Ilya Toporia. You're dealing with a guy that if you throw those leg kicks, you deal with the one-two, and the one-two that he throws is drastically different from the one-two that a guy like Max Holloway throws. It's drastically different from the one-two that a guy like Yair Rodriguez throws. This one-two has the ability to shut your lights out, and you might not recover. That is what Ilya Topodia brings, and I don't know if a guy... Like, Alexander Volsky has fought someone quite, maybe Chad Mendes, but Chad Mendes was over the hill at that point in time. Chad Mendes did hurt Alexander Volkanovsky in the side, but he didn't have him sting to close it out. I do think Ilya Topodia has the ability to hurt Alexander Volkanovsky. And I do think the confidence that we are seeing from a guy in Ilya Topodia is very reminiscent of a guy that we saw make his mark in the UFC over a guy that we called the featherweight goat at one point in time, and Jose Aldo. We saw the same thing from Conor McGregor. He spoke confidently. He spoke brash. He said he was next in line to be champion. And now you look at it. Almost 10 years later, a guy in Ilya Taportia is coming in with all the confidence in the world, undefeated, no blemish on his record. Just went through a five-round war with a guy that was absolute dangerous. So dangerous that he just shut the lights off of another contender in Bryce Mitchell. You know, see, I think people are making a mistake by overlooking Alexander Volkanovsky. But I think people are also making a mistake in underestimating Ilya Toporia. Put your bias aside. Put your bias aside. And understand what Alexander Volkanovsky, I'm sorry, the great Alexander Volkanovsky has in front of him. This is a huge, huge task. Huge task. This is a guy in Ilya Topodia that can shut the lights out, that also has a tremendous grappling background that people haven't even seen yet because he's too busy of turning the lights out of people inside that octagon. I think we see the best performance of Ilya Topodia on Saturday night. And if we don't, I'll say this. The reason why we don't is because Alexander Volkanovsky was able to employ his game plan of the light kicks and get his own offense going and was able to blow the tires of Ilya Tapori out. My prediction is a new. Daniel, what say you? Yeah, I think this fight has a lot of complex, you know, different scenarios with one another, but I'm going to make this very simple. I think you brought up a good point. Alexander Volkanovsky, in my opinion, his greatest strength is also his greatest weakness. And I feel like this fight is very simple to predict. Alexander Volkanovsky's style, he is going to walk forward. Every one of his fights, he walks forward. Against Islam Makhachev, walked forward. Against Yair Rodriguez, tall guy, walked forward. Chad Mendes, walked forward. Alexander Volkanovsky is going to walk forward. And we are going to see, I went back and rewatched the Chad Mendes fight. There's going to be a lot of striking inside the pocket between these two. Ilya Tapori is going to look to counter him. Alexander Volkanovsky is going to look to initiate. I think we're going to see this fight go one of two ways. I think Ilya Tapori, because I Chad Mendes did the same thing. Islam Makhachev, Brian Ortega dropped Volkanovsky. I think it's going to be a brutal knockout if Ilya Tapori knocks him out. And that's I think that's how he would win. I think he would win with, within three rounds. I don't think this goes far because of the style of this fight. I don't think Volkanovsky is going to pitter-patter on the outside. I'm very confident that... To Volk's credit, when he does get rocked, every single time, he walks right forward. And that's part of his personality. And I think a man's greatest strength is his greatest weakness. I feel like that's going to be his fate in this fight if he were to lose. Ilya rocks him, and Volkanovski's not the guy. He's not going to walk backwards. He is going to walk forward. 
with the opposite side, the only way Ilya Tapori really loses is if he overlooks Volkanovsky. Man, we saw that right. His his striking, he opens himself up because he's confident in his power. And at the end of the day, Ilya Tapori is confident in his power. I'm confident that the man rising up is going to defeat the man who is on the decline. Give me Ilya Tapori by round two knockout. Um, I think Volkanovsky can catch Ilya. I'll make the prediction. I think Volkanovsky actually drops Ilya. But Ilya comes back, knocks him out, TKO, and new. Wow. Um, I, I think we're in for a treat Saturday night. I'm not as bullish on a round, I would say. But I will say that this fight is an absolute treat. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Who are you riding with? Are you riding with the champ, Alexander Volkanovsky? And if so, don't just say you're wrong, you don't know what you're talking about. Tell us why. Let's have a discussion. Let's have a dialogue because I think that's how we all improve. I'm really curious to hear what you guys' thoughts are. If you like more video content like this, give this video a like. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss when we go live or upload content from either the home studio or the First Star Logistics Studio. Come on.